Football Gaming League. I've been dealing with competitive video gaming since 2001, I believe. And I'm said to be one of the cel celebrated journalists in uh, the business. Overall, uh, the most accomplished player is definitely Fatality. Gamers like Fatality who are very, very successful, especially from a financial point of view, are be, uh, really very good examples for young people of what you can do if you're very talented, if you're very motivated. The best player today is going to be Jonathan Fatality Wendell. He's becoming a household name. People asking for his autographs. Every new sport needs stars, and Fatality is the first superstar of video games. Fatality. He's won major titles in many, many different games. He has a huge experience edge on anybody he plays. Fatality. He's getting magazine articles, he's getting ads, he's getting promotions and he's getting sponsorships. And he is, he's just top of the, top of the food chain. He'd made such a big name for himself. Fatality. He's super good at those shooters. These 12 year old kids came up to me and just started talking to me. Like, they're like, oh, can you sign my purse? Can you sign my shoes? Can you sign my cell phone? You know, and it was, uh, it was really cool. I mean, they were just so happy. And uh, when, uh, when you can do that kind of thing, it's really awesome. Fatality is the most widely known gamer in the Western Hemisphere. In America, he's the only gamer to receive mainstream attention. He has appeared in magazines including Time, Business Week, and Forbes, and has been featured on 60 Minutes and MTV. MTV followed me around did a documentary on me called True Life, I'm a Gamer. So that's kind of what I got my, my real big fame from. When did I start playing video games? Um, I mean, everyone played Nintendo. I mean, 1985, I think it was when it came out or something like that. I had the power glove and everything. <laughs> so I thought that thing was cool. So there's a lot of cool things about uh, these games when I was really young. I played them, and I really got fascinated by them. Back in 1995, 96, I think, when uh, you could play Quake 1 on the, on the Internet. And it was just so cool. I mean, I was playing guys from Germany and New York City and California. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I was freaking out. Like, oh, dude, like, I just killed someone from New York. And then, like, I was playing. We're all playing. Like, these guys from all around the world. And uh, it was just so, it was so exhilarating. It's so much, so, so crazy, the amount of fun. Gaming became more than just fun for John. His natural talent and passion for gaming became obvious, and he started thinking about competing professionally. I got pretty good, good advice from my guidance counselor. He was talking to me, and he's like, you know, sometimes things come up in life, and you got to take them. You have to go for it. And, and you know, in this world, you have to, you have to be aggressive, and you have to, uh, if you have an opportunity, knock on your door and stuff like that, sometimes you have to take it because you don't want to go through life regretting anything, you know, something you didn't really pursue. And um, when I turned 18, I found out about a tournament down in Dallas, and I was like, man, they're offering 10 grand for first place, and, like, I think I'm pretty good at this game. My mom's reaction to all of it, was, um, you know, I mean, I really didn't talk to my mom for a while, uh, just uh, because we had really, uh, a really kind of a fallout there, and I really wanted to go to this tournament. I really wanted to play and compete, and I, I don't think she really knew how much I loved competing. I was a very good pool player. I used to have a manager and stuff like that, and traveled me around when I was like 12 or 13 years old playing pool. My parents got divorced, and it was my mom's weekend when the, the nationals, what the junior nationals were, and she didn't let me go. <laughs> So that's kind of like the reason why I was so uh, driven to go to this tournament. I moved out right about two weeks before I graduated high school, um, mainly just because I got, I got grounded all the time from the PC. I mean, um, you know, they ground me all the time. I mean, I got grounded for eight months one time from the PC. No computer, eight, eight months. And uh, I ended up moving out and I moved in with my dad. and. Uh, uh, even my dad, you know, it was like he—he—he was—he wasn't—he um, wasn't against it. Um, but after him seeing me playing for two months, uh, solid, like training for this tournament, he—I don't think he really knew what I was really doing at the time. And I told my dad, I was like, I'm going to this tournament. Like, I, I got 500 bucks in the bank. I'm gonna go. To this I'm going. All, I'm pushing all in, and like, this is this is everything. If I win, 
if I uh, if I want any significant money, I'm gonna keep doing it. But if I if I don't want any money, hey, I'm done. So that's uh, that's kind of how we did it. And I won that four grand. And I came home and slapped that check on the table, and I go. Dad, I won four thousand dollars playing a video game. <laughs> he's just—he he just looked at me. He's like, "Man, this is too crazy." <laughs> you know, two weeks later, I got invited to go to Sweden to represent USA, and I was like, "This is pretty cool." So, <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh, I'll go." You know, of course. And then uh, I went there and beat all the guys. I won 18 games straight, losing zero. That's when I decided to go pro. Um, I uh, approached the company. I go. Would you like to sponsor me? And they talked to their president and so forth, and came back and said, "Yep." We'll do it. Since 1999, Fatality has won five world championships in four different games and has brought in approximately $500,000 in prize money alone. In 2005, he won the CPL Painkiller World Tour Finals, bringing in $150,000. At the beginning, I didn't start off so hot. I mean, it's like second, fourth, sixth, second. I finally won my first Painkiller Championship uh, in the summer CPL. The main thing was that you want to win the finals, the finals in New York City. And I got to the finals, but uh, this time I'm from the lower bracket, and I haven't came back from the lower bracket all, all season. But somehow I was able to pull through in the finals, and I won four straight. I won 2-0, 2-0, and won the whole thing, won 150 grand. And uh, if you've seen the videos or anything like that, you saw it on pretty insane. Every single kid that's heard of Fatality and likes video games wants to become a pro game. Fatality isn't the only pro gamer to struggle with parents who don't see playing video games as a career choice. Many get little or no support from family, even after having moderate success. For kids just trying to break in, it can be a battle that severs relationships.